Hi everyone, this video is to show you the new freezer skill in Super Lemix. So we have this new skill called the freezer, which is primarily a replacement for the stoner skill, but there are several important differences between the two, which I think are worth highlighting. Uh, and also we can have a look at how they're similar as well. So let's dive in and have a look. So I think we'll start by just having a look at the assignability. So if we assign a bomber in midair, they'll explode immediately. Whereas if we assign one on land, they transition to the Onoa state before exploding. It's similar with a freezer. So if we assign a freezer in midair, they'll immediately explode and become an ice cube. Whereas if we assign one on land, they'll first transition to a freezing state and then explode and become an ice cube. So very similar to the stoner and very similar to the bomber as well. But what's unlike the stoner is that whilst they're in this state, if, if you have a look, if I hover over this lemming here, you can see that they are, the tunic ch turns red because they're selected and they're ready to be assigned a skill. And that's the same with lemmings in this frozen state. The tunic turns red because they're selected and they're ready to receive skills. Now, which skills they can receive is obviously limited. Obviously, they can't receive destruction or construction skills because they're frozen. They wouldn't be able to perform those actions. Same with movement skills as well. However, they can receive explosion based skills like bomber or a time bomber. Or they can also be assigned permanent skills. So I don't know if you saw, but they are already swimmers because the entrance hatch is pre-assigned swimmers. But we can also assign them gliders and climbers as well. So now all of these lemmings are now triathletes. And you might think, well, what's the point of them being a triathlete? if they're in a block of ice and the answer is because they can be rescued so if i just make that one a freezer as well for now and i'll show you if i assign this grenade here it's gonna detonate and blow up this block of ice and there you go you see the, the lemming transitioned to the unfreezing state and then they were able to be rescued Similarly, you can destroy the cubes using any destruction skill, and if you've destroyed enough of the ice, it will rescue the lemming from the, from the frozen state. And because they're triathletes, you can see this one is a glider, so off they go. So there may be several situations where that might be useful. So let's say, for example, you've got a setup where you've got a lemming and for some reason you need to stop them in midair and then you can assign them a glider and then we can rescue them from that state and then off they go and they're a worker now so that's just one particular use that you might have for the freezer skill which is a use which is unlike the stoner you obviously can't do that with a stoner because uh, the stoner is sacrificial, so uh, the lemmings can't be assigned, but they can while they're freezers. So, one very important difference. Let's have a look at one of the similarities then. So, as I mentioned before, all these are swimmers. So they're going to swim, and this is a similarity with the stoner now. If I zoom in, you can see that there's a trap here. So we obviously don't want them to go into that trap. So if I assign a freezer here, you can see that in water, the freezers get assigned slightly lower. On land, the freezer cube lines up directly with the foot position. But in water, it's assigned a few pixels lower so that the so that the freezer cube is actually at a more sort of 
realistic position for a swimmer lowing, but also it's it's a functionality thing as well. So if I assign this freezer here, it's going to make it so that the other lemmings can all dive down beneath the ice cube and of course miss the trap. And that solves this level. So there we go. Now with those lemmings saved, we've completed the level, but we still have this freezer active in the level. So just like with blockers, we need to start the nuke to blow them up and then that completes the level. But let's say we want to save them all. So there is a way to save them all on this level. But in fact, I'll show you that in a bit. First of all, let's just have a look at some more of these swimmer interactions. So if I assign a freezer here and then here and then another one here, it, they can dive quite low into the water. You know, there may be some level setup which might call for that, for the lemmings to dive quite low. Or let's just go back a, a little bit. There's another thing that you can do with, with frozen lemmings in water. That, from what I from what I know, I don't think you can do this with stoners. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can. If we assign two on top of each other like that, they become a block, like so. So you can actually use them as a blocker in water. And then if I assign this one a climber, we'll climb over and we want to do that a little bit later, don't we? So that they can be safe from the trap trigger as well. So there he goes. And now we've got a worker on this side. So you've got this quite unique setup where the freezers are acting as a blocker, which can be climbed over so that a worker lemming can go ahead. Quite a unique scenario, which may have some use. So yeah, that's just another thing that you can do with freezers. Um, I'm now gonna solve this level, uh, but I'm gonna save all of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use freezers for as many different things as possible. Uh, in fact, no, sorry, before I do that, there is one other thing I wanna show you. So this is how they're different from stackers. So if we make a stack here, you'll see the lemmings, you know, between the freezer and this stacker, they can climb over the stack, but they can't climb over the freezer. So let's just, let's just make them all go back that way so they can climb over the stack, but they can't climb over the freezer. And that's another similarity with stoners, actually. The shape is such that it, the block of ice is basically just a square, but with the corners missing. So at this bottom edge here, can see there's like a little notch there and that will stop the climber from being able to get over so I decided to keep that that behavior with you know that's that's how it is with the stoner and I wanted to keep that because it makes it different from the stacker and it just gives the stacker another reason to exist so uh, yeah it, I just decided to keep that so they can still be used to block but climbers can't get over So let's uh, let's go back to what I was going to do. So we're, I'm going to complete this level. I'm going to use freezers for as many different things as I can. So we're going to use one here as a blocker. Then we're going to use one to make this drop safe. Another blocker. And then one of these needs to be the worker lemming to create a safe route. So I'm going to use a freezer just to delay this lemming. So that's already... I'm not even 30 seconds into the level and I've used freezers for th three different things. Blockers, making a drop safe and delaying a lemming. We can now go ahead and complete this.
this level. So let's do it like this. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the water as far as I can so we get past this trap trigger. We can swim from there, so that's fine. Turn around. And then I need to rescue all these guys. So, yeah, okay. Let's do that. So that's that one done. And then this one can now rescue these guys. We don't need to send that one over to rescue them because this one was delayed by being a freezer. So this one can now rescue these guys. And then turn that one around. And then we've got to rescue this one as well. So let's do that. That one drops down there, bumps into that, and then that's a block. So off they go, and that's all five of them rescued. And I was able to use freezers for three different things as part of that solution. So let's have another look at this, uh, making the making this drop safe. There's a number of things regarding this which I think are worth pointing out. So if I use this one to make the drop safe for the other lemmings, it has also, importantly, made the drop safe for this lemming as well. So let me show you that. If I do this, there you go, you see that lemming dropped down safely because making them a freezer resets their fall distance. So just an important thing to know. Also, another thing is mid-air time bomber assignments. You can, actually you can actually assign a freezer to a lemming that's already a time bomber. The countdown will continue, and then when it reaches zero, the lemming will explode. That's because I've now made it so that the, the freezer countdown is a completely separate and independent thing from the time bomber countdown. So let's just have a look at that in where you might be able to use it. So we want to we want the lemming to explode there, so we can use the freezer to stop them in midair and make sure that they explode exactly where it is that we want them to. So there you go. And then, you know, we've got this setup now where we've got, an, you know, a, a bomber hole here in the side. And, you know, that might be useful for a number of different things. So, yeah, it's just, obviously, I mean, of course, you could just assign a bomber and it does the same thing. But where's the fun in that? And also, the level might not provide bombers, it might be a level which only provides time bombers and freezers, and part of this puzzle solution might be that you need to do that. And it's an easy enough thing to do, you, you know, it's, it's not a fiddly interaction or anything like that, you can do it without pressing pause. It's quite a, a simple thing to do. And it's just another way in which the freezer is quite useful. So... So yeah, that's, uh, I hope this video has been informative and kind of helped to demonstrate what I think is, is going to turn out to be a really quite versatile and usable skill. The fact that it's tall enough that you can assign a grenade right next to it and it will rescue the lemming, I think is really quite good as well and you've got you've got a few frames grace there so one two sorry hang on one two three four four frames grace in which to assign a grenade so even if you're playing in classic mode you've got quite a lot of time to be able to perform that action and yeah it's uh yeah i just i, just, I love it to be honest i think it's just great the freezer just mega happy with it and I just wanted to make this video to um, hopefully 
for anyone that might have been thinking, oh, it's just, you know, it's just a replacement for the stoner. No, it isn't. There's quite a few different things that you can now do with a freezer because, A, they're assignable whilst frozen, but also you can assign skills to them. Sorry, you can assign freezers to lemmings that are already performing skills like the time bomber. Maybe a builder. Obviously, you can assign a freezer to a builder. I don't know why you might want to do that but you might <laughs> you know um oh and just to show you as well you can rescue one with a single swipe of a, a minor pickaxe in fact yeah let me just quickly show you you don't have to remove a lot of terrain from underneath so if, you, if i do that you can see they're still frozen they've not removed enough of the ice cube but for the bottom area, you only need to remove the ice from where their feet is. And if you think about it, it the way I sort of Im imagine it is they're kind of dropping out of the ice cube. You've removed the terrain from underneath their feet and you've removed the, the very bottom of the ice cube. So they're kind of dropping out of the ice cube. That's the way it kind of makes sense to me. Um, but from the top, you do have to remove a significant enough amount that the lemming would reasonably thaw out and then off they go back into the level. Um, what's the other thing I wanted to show you? Oh yeah, so ascending out of an ice cube. So if we have two freezers quite, ne quite near each other like this, we've got quite a small gap here. Let's wait for another lemming to come out. Now, if I assign a freezer here, watch what happens. This lemming will ascend out. Let's see that in slow motion. So it's this lemming that we want to watch. They will jump up six pixels and then ascend out like that. So that initial six pixel jump there is just to make sure that they can definitely ascend out like that. Like um, in licks, how lixes can ascend out of uh, cubers. I wanted to do the same thing with freezers just so that you don't end up in the situation where you've got a lemming trapped in, in, in the freezer ice cube. However, having said that, there is one important thing to know. There needs to be a clear amount of terrain above. So if I do that, now we've created a situation where there's, there's some terrain above there so they won't be able to ascend out because otherwise you'd have that situation where they would just ascend all the way out, you know, all the way out like that. So there does have to be a clear gap above and then they will just ascend out. So yeah, that is, that's the freezer. You know, I'm, again, I'm just, I hope, it's, uh, hope you've really enjoyed this video and uh, yeah. Hope to see some of your freezer levels. Hopefully, this has given you some ideas. And uh, yeah, I shall leave it there and I'll see you on the forums. Bye for now.